I'm Bob Harris, president of the Decorative Concrete Institute. A couple of the most important tools that you can use for your successful concrete application is either what we call the builder's level, or in this case, the laser level. Let's face it, if you have a concrete slab that uh, you pour and looks beautiful, it's all for nothing if you don't have the proper amount of slope, or what we call fall, on the formwork. So one way that we can achieve the amount of slope is with the use of a traditional builder's level. Uh, and this will attach to a tripod, and then we'll go out and shoot elevations. The tool of choice for us is what we call the laser level. Now, this is really easy. One person can use this by themselves, of course, where the builder's level typically requires uh, a minimum of two people to use. So this tool also attaches to the tripod, and then you'll turn it on. There are batteries that uh, are required when using this, in addition to the actual uh, laser level, it shoots out a beam of light, you'll need the sensor, okay? Once again, this requires batteries. You turn this to the on position, and you'll put this on what we call the story pole. And this attaches to the pole, and we'll raise it or, le or uh, lower it, and when the beam of light hits the little sensor in here, um, it'll, it'll uh, make a different tone that you'll hear. So this is very effective for shooting the elevations on your forms for a successful concrete application. Let's show you how it works. Here we are out on the work site getting ready to use our laser level to shoot elevations. A couple of uh, pointers before we get ready here is make sure that this is in fact screwed down tightly to the tripod. This is an expensive tool and you don't want it to you know, fall down. Also, you make sure and use the, the little arms on the legs to make sure that they're securely fastened into the sub base so you have a stable base. The way that this tool works is it has an on off switch right here we turned it on and you can see it started spinning and now it's emitting a little uh, laser light coming out of there. This is self-leveling so when this green light is on, which it is, that means it's level and it's ready to go. So let's go over to the story pole and show you how that works. Here we are getting ready to uh, actually shoot our elevations. Remember, we turned on the laser level. We had a green light which indicated that was it, it was in fact level. So now we're getting ready to use our sensor here. Now the way that this works is we're getting ready to shoot our elevation, which is sometimes referred to as a benchmark. And our elevation in this case happens to be the bottom of our building. So when we pour our concrete slab, we want to make sure that we have the sufficient amount of slope from here being our first elevation, 13 feet out, we want to make sure that it is in fact sloped so it doesn't hold water. And so the way that this works is we're simply going to switch it to the on position. You hear it beep. This does require batteries. Here is an indicator that I do, in fact, have it turned on. So now I'm simply going to put the bottom of my uh, story pole to the elevation right there. You can hear it beeping. And now I'm simply going to loosen this. You see here there's an arrow which is indicating that it needs to go down. And what that means, it should level out. Let me loosen it up. Now I got to go up a little bit. Right there. I'll tighten it down. See the green light flashing? We have a little line there as an indicator that we're in fact level with the way that we have the laser level set up. Tighten it down and we'll go to the next step. Remember, we tightened the uh, adjustment screw here. Once we got our elevation, we tighten it down. Now we're simply coming out to our grade stake on the opposite side. In this case, it's 13 feet. And we're just going to raise or lower until we get a level line here, and you'll hear it. Right there. So I'm going to mark the bottom. So what this pencil line represents is a level line with our benchmark, which is the elevation of the bottom of our building. So now what we'll do is we'll determine how much slope or how much fall we want. In this case, we want a minimum of 1 8 to the foot. And then we'll simply measure down from this level line the appropriate amount of slope. And in here, in this case, we're right at about an inch and 3 quarters from the level line. So as you can see, this is a very effective tool. You can use it by yourself. Remember, to get the most out of your tools, use them properly, and more importantly, use them safely. I'm Bob Harris.